Hey guys, first of all, let me say this is a special video. Not only have I hit a thousand subscribers, which may not seem like a lot, uh, but it's still a milestone. It's uh, a point that you think about when you start off on day one and you go, man, I'll be lucky to get three or four subscribers and most of them are going to be, you know, my mom and, you know, that one guy from high school who's creepy and just kind of still keeps up with you. You know what I mean? That guy. Anyway, hit a thousand subscribers. That's a big milestone. This is also my 30th video, which is another milestone. Uh, a year and a half ago, I never could have imagined that I would have been putting up 30 videos, uh, but here it is. So for this, I wanted to do a little something special. I've got some old footage from about a year ago when we completely remade over our entire kitchen from top to bottom. Uh, just a little disclaimer, a couple of the clips that I shot uh, were lost in transition. I guess going to my new phone and my new laptop and all that stuff, I just lost a couple of them. So I'll have to kind of fill in the blanks for you here and there, uh, probably with some text on screen. But anyway, I'm going to show you this because I think it's worth your time. There's some under cabinet lighting. There's painting of kitchen cabinets. There's new countertops. So check it out. And again, thanks for the thousand subscribers. Thanks for watching. <laughs> So, one of the things that we're doing in this kitchen to kind of mix it up a little bit is we want to take out this little lower shelf because it's in the way of the sink. Uh, I've banged my head on it so many times I've lost count. We want to take this out to make it just a little bit more modern and maybe stick with something that's going to be good in the next five to ten years as opposed to something that's been done before. We're going to just take this middle cabinet out completely and this shelf. So in place of this middle cabinet, we're going to put two shelves in between them. for the cabinet doors. We've got mid-size or smaller pulls for the drawers. And then for the bigger drawers, we've got the longer version of that one right there. And to make it easier and consistent, I've just taken a cardboard box that had a pretty stiff edge on it. And then I measured out and put a hole in it so that I can fit these onto the corner of the cabinet like this, and then make a mark through that hole and then drill that hole. And that way, each and every one of these jigs will ensure that I have a consistent placement of my handles. The under cabinet lighting, I could plug it into that outlet light right there and run the wires up through the cabinets to get up to the top and then string them across and go underneath. But I hate having those giant plug-ins in those outlets. So what I'm doing is I've got this breaker turned off, of course, for safety. And then I'm going to go in with some new 14-2 wire, which is just 14 gauge 2 wire. I'm going to tie into the ground. The back of this GFI has extra space to plug in a new wire. Tie into that, run up through this box, go fish it up through the wall, and then I'm going to pop out with a new outlet right here in the top of this cabinet. I've already got a pilot hole drilled. And then I'll put in a new receptacle. That way I can plug in the lights to that and then fish them through the cabinet across this way. And you won't see the wires. You won't see the place where it's plugged in. And it's really, really cheap to do. It's only like, you know, maybe an extra 15, 20 bucks. I got a little receptacle plate, new gang box, and this one's meant for uh, existing work. It's got these toggles on it that'll pull it up to the back of the sheetrock and ultimately the back of the cabinet. That's a 14-2 Romex. So here's the under cabinet lighting installed. It makes a huge difference. I've got the lights turned off in here now. And you can see, I don't know if it's gonna to be too bright. If I take it up, they're just strips.
So without having a kitchen, one of the benefits is that you get to cook in your guest bathroom. I'm cutting cabbage on top of our sink right now, our bathroom sink. I got the crock pot plugged in over here on the countertop. Yeah, I've never cooked in a bathroom before. I'm not sure I want to start. The kitchen's been in a plastic bubble and unusable now for about three days and we got a couple more days to go with the painting and all that so we'll see how this works out I'll let you know I just prepped some chicken on the ottoman in the living room too let's see how that goes okay so we're up the morning after spraying the cabinets with the first coat of paint we're tired uh, we've had some help on this job from, I guess, basically my brother-in-law, Chris. He's been painting for 30 years. He has a really good paint sprayer, and we didn't want the cabinets to look like, oh, you painted your cabinets with a paintbrush, so we wanted it to look professional. And I know we always do everything ourselves, but in this case, we splurged, and we're giving him some money to paint these cabinets for the labor. We'll be reclaiming the kitchen soon. The... Countertop guys are coming on Wednesday, which is two days ahead of schedule. And we've got a bucket full of hinges and screws and hardware to put on. This is gonna be tedious. Okay, finally, we've had a little bit of rest because we're waiting on the granite guys to come in and put in the countertop. They did that. Uh, I don't wanna show you too much of it yet because, you know, obviously I want a big reveal afterward. But right now, uh, I've got a little bit of time. I'm not going to be able to get it all done, but I'm going to start putting up some of this backsplash. Uh, now the way you do that is kind of like we did the fireplace. You just use the mastic type one right on top of the sheetrock and then you're going to push the glass into it. choice uh, when it came to the overhang of the bar for the countertop anything that hangs over more than eight inches they say you need to support this one is a furniture leg and it adds kind of a custom cabinetry element to it so we decided to go with this on the corner I've already got my spots marked out I measured the overhang to make sure that it continued the cabinet line here I've got some clear silicone I've got a little bit of a joint about a sixteenth of an inch at the top so that gives me a little bit of space you don't want to have it so tight that it puts pressure on the cabinet or the countertop rather so I'm just going with clear silicone I'm gonna do the bottom and then I'll go back in and fill in the, the gap at the top and that'll attach it 